Hey guys, welcome to game three of BSL Hasu League Season 13. It's Group C, Group C, winner's match, third match between Thebus and White. And I think it's going to be an exciting one. I don't know who to favor. Thebus, so White really controlling and having trouble finishing Thebus in game one, but showing some really good control. And then in the last match, Thebus just being overwhelming. Like really playing and taking the match, you would, you would have thought that like White had insulted his mother or something like that. Upper right hand corner, we have Thebus starting as the red turn, bottom right hand corner. White starting as the blue Protoss. This is on Good Night, which is a big macro map. But I think White, yeah. I think the success for White for White is survive or mitigate Phoebus' early game aggression. And I'm almost wondering if he's going to opt for builds that allow him to do so. Scouting bottom left first, so he's going to get last scout off on Thebus. Thebus, I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I'm looking to see more interesting timing pushes, more aggression from him. Really, it seemed like White not able to take out that early scout. I haven't seen a Terran do that yet. Like, the only Terran I've seen do something comparatively is maybe, uh, just doing zooms for no reason, is Mars. Mars has that, Mars and Exit have that same sort of game sense where they, they see an opportunity, they're going to seize it. But I have yet to see a scout in the base, like, and calculating, oh, you don't have enough troops, I'm just going. I'm going now. Uh, with that sort of attack. And that honestly looked, yeah, that looked next level to me. Gateway being plopped down. Also, I liked Thebus's follow-up against White, where it's that's where, as far as the get ahead, get further ahead, that's the sort of getting further ahead I like to see. Grabbing multiple expansions, continuing to apply the pressure, continuing to deny things to your opponent, and just being overwhelming. Rather than the, I'm going to sit back, let him macro back, potentially macro back, and maybe sneak back into this match. So if I net its core warping in, it looks like a zealot is going to be skipped. Unfortunately for White, a little bit of bad luck, because it looks like Thebus is going to get first scout. We do have three SEV on gas currently. We'll see if that continues once the 100 mineral or the 100 gas mark is grabbed. And this, uh, honestly, this would make me a little bit nervous after the last game. Probe Scout making its way around. Skipping the first Marine to go ahead and get that factory beforehand. It looks like the SEVs have pulled off gas. The Probe Scout going to wander in. He's going to go ahead and try to do damage to this SCV to potentially, actually it looks like he's attacking the factory now, potentially to do damage. This Marine is going to go ahead and escort it away. Dragoon on the way opposite corner. White not yet plopping down an additional gateway. Phoebus still keeping that SCV hovering nearby. Wants to get that additional scouting information. It looks like that probe, did the probe? No, probe, did that get it? No, okay. What happened to the Marine? Maybe I should have kept the eyes in there. So probe now exiting this space. Two Marines hanging out on the ramp. And a machine shot being dropped. I'm wondering if Phoebus is just going to go for that safe. Especially after game one and game two being so furious. If he's just going to go for the uh, very safe one factory robotics facility into expand. Has that machine shop now. He does have additional gas in the bank. But yeah, he's saving up minerals and going to go ahead and plop that down. Some marines staging at the forward location. I want to keep an eye on them because we never know with Phoebus, right? In the meantime, White dropping a robotics facility is getting Dragoon range, and I think he's wanting to get aggressive with potentially a, ro a robo play. Probe wandering forward. Phoebus already going to be able to blockade that out, so nice play. So he's not going to have eyes on any of this. Phoebus grabbing that natural expansion. So now White needs to get something done with whatever he's up to with this robo. And if he, does, if he doesn't, it's going to hurt him. This is most certainly going to be Robotic Support Bay and Reaver play. As far as a follow-up, Phoebus continuing to scout out with that SCV just to make sure that nothing sneaky was happening there. Mines and Vultures being researched. A Siege Tank out there at the forward position to potentially deny scouting information. Actually, it's going to make these Dragoons' lives a little bit more challenging because they're going to get initial misfire. And this SCV might be able to sneak into base and get a lack of, and find, yeah, scout all this. 
The Dragoon needs to block this ramp immediately, or catch that SCV before it's able to walk up. The Dragoon's continuing to feel forward, and Phoebus' SCV just remaining there. Robotic support bay is up. Phoebus knows something's up just from the lack of natural. Shuttle being built along the way. That SCV actually might even be able to harass that natural expansion. Some mines being planted defensively on that front. The barracks also floating forward. So now, yeah, Phoebus not only getting a full scout, not only getting the expansion, but he's just, yeah, he's in a commanding position, in my opinion, at this stage of things. Some nice defensive slots. The SCV in the probe line is going to get wiped out, but he's seen everything he's needed to see, I think, to be able to respond. He has that engineering bay up already. He's got a missile turret up in his main. Let's see if he pulls those siege tanks back. Yeah, getting a... All he has to do is keep yeah, those two tanks on siege, and it's going to be very difficult. It's going to take some supreme micromanagement from White to push this. And I, that's also going to make those vultures in the mid-game a little bit stronger because there's a slower observatory <clears throat> to deal with whatever's out in the field. So we, White also trying to grab that natural expansion behind all this. Thebus actually floating the barracks all the way in. So a single reaver, shuttle speed, following this up. So White very committed to this. It looks like he wanted to go ahead and maybe sneak a quick third nexus behind all this. So he's just hoping that this is a, that's a very risky play in my opinion. He's hoping that Phoebus, I could see where he's going with the scouting information where he's like, okay, I'm going to pull this up. Phoebus is going to see that it's Reaver. He's going to play more passive and that maybe that's going to allow me to take a third with him scouting it. But counting on Phoebus to stay in a passive stance is a big risk in my opinion. Second factory being plopped down. Siege tanks already prepared potentially for this. This is going to be two Reavers in this shuttle. And some vultures wandering out. Looks like they're going to go ahead and check some of these exterior bases. Probe in position for White. So he's going to try. He needs to get something done with this Reaver harass. He's probably going to wait for shuttle speed in the midst of this. Some tanks already sieged in defensive positions. There is kind of a nice entry point still to shoot the gap. The Vulture is continuing to press out. I wonder if he's going to smell this as they engage the Dragoons at the 6 o'clock. I kind of like this build from White overall. So we'll see if it plays out. Third factory even plopped down. Usually I would say that Terran's not in a position to attack, but this is one of those things where it's like Phoebus, you never know. Might just unload everything and just go. Shuttle speed now online. The Reaver is going to careen across the top. Actually, never mind. Backing out in the midst of that. An observer pushing forward. So it looks like it wants to try to see what it can do in the midst of this. And actually, it looks like, yeah, he's just content. He's like, okay, you, you went defensive. You went for more of a macro-oriented thing. So let me just pull that shuttle back and use it and more a, a defensive posture, because it looks like I'm going to get away with this, getting this third nexus up. Phoebus, however, grabbing a fourth and fifth factory with his armory. So I think he is setting up to potentially go for a mid-game push. I don't think he's just going to settle for grabbing that third command center. Supply count's even. Phoebus with, an over, with a lead in the overall worker count, which you would expect with the build order that was executed. Additional gateways being plopped down. So White finding himself some breathing room to go into the mid-game does have a, a decent defense force. And Phoebus, ooh. So this is going to be seven factories. Definitely going to be aggressive. So this isn't just going to be a four factory mid-game push. This isn't just going to be a you know, five factory, which is usually aggressive. This is, we're going up to seven off two bases, which means he is going to not just be aggressive. He's going to be aggressive and like on the like kind of like on the point of all inish levels of aggression here some mines being cleared towards the front second machine shop being plopped down so it's going to be a lot of vultures potentially a goliath armory is working on level one weapons Ooh, one reaver being picked off a bit of mist micro there by white on the front door vulture already sneaking out to make sure a quick fourth wasn't grabbed the shuttle coming back to home base now white is sitting at five gateways behind this. He's dropping his Citadel of Adun right now, but this could just be a game ender for White. Unless he continues to produce Reavers, 
or get something supplementary to defend against this, maybe some positioning, because otherwise Thebus is just going to build an overwhelming amount of units and wipe him out as far as a follow-up. Siege tanks and vultures now on the way, following that right-hand lane. We do have two shuttles to work with, but Thebus with a significant supply lead, the positional advantage is working out for white. And that is six siege tanks and more to follow. Starting to press in. Keep in mind, this is seven factories worth of production behind this. Full control, full control group of Dragoons. More vultures pressing forward. And Thebes is slowly setting up. This is a big area to take. The fact that he can just walk up here and that this was not halted by white is awful. Forge, pylon wall being dropped. The Dragoons eating better defense. Big mind drag on the high ground. The Goliath is able to engage the shuttle a bit, but several Dragoons getting wiped out. And this is going to be difficult to refield because the, there's a pylon wall in the midst of this. More vultures pressing forward. Want to get a surround. Looks like they are going to have to immediately wipe out their own pylon. But this also strands the 6 o'clock base. And Thebus is starting to motion that direction. And as I said, oh yeah, he's not going to... He's grabbing a command center in the midst of this. But yeah, it looks like he just really threaded the needle on that timing where he's like, I'm going to have too many troops. White's not going to be able to deal with it. I'm just going to be able to take out one of his bases and grab an additional base uh, behind this. So White losing a bunch of Dragoons to a single siege tank and some mines behind this. The Reaver able to clear that out. And yeah, it doesn't look like White is going to be able to defend this 6 o'clock. Losing probes and Phoebus. Honestly, just really... Showing some uh, really strong play. And honestly, upon seeing this series, I don't know if his versus Zerg is as strong as it, or his versus Terran is as strong, but if this is any indicator, this is maybe looking at a Hasu League uh, finalist challenger because this is, this is something I would expect to see up in uh, Gosu or even uh, Pro League. Phoebus looking strong in these engagements. White backing up. Still off those seven factories, a bunch of vultures moving in to go take that high ground and sweep behind. Picking off some zealots, planting some mines, some siege tanks able to sneak in as well. So, yeah, classic Phoebus. Aggression, cutting off reinforcements, sieging tanks on the front while taking his third, and taking out that six o'clock base. Now he's got a soft cap at that natural to seal white into two bases. And White, now in trouble. And honestly, reinforcements from Phoebus can just be redrawn to get a full full control over the rest of this. The Zealot's pressing forward. Still some shuttles there. The Vulture's able to wipe the rest of that out. The Reaver now dropping. is going to be able to clear out some of those Vultures. But Phoebus still with a 30 supply lead. He's still got that third base now up and running. On, honestly, mostly uncontested. He's got more reinforcements. And he's still got another troop grouping here at the 5 o'clock location that all he has to do is pick them up, re-engage, and White still sitting at 81 supply and falling. Level 1 weapons is online compared to the no upgrades for White, and he still doesn't have Arbiter Tech behind this. Really, uh, again, because of just kind of the way the build order played out. Shuttle scooping up. Phoebus continue. Continue to be content, it looks like, to leave these troops here at the 6 o'clock. While he has managed to grab three bases, it looks like he's going to go ahead and wander up, potentially to get in position to grab a fourth. Planting some missile turrets there. Mines being cleared out in the middle for white. So he's going to try to work through what's there. Ooh, some Goliaths getting a little bit too aggressive. And this is, uh, with Phoebus, the way he's got these troops grouped up, the Vultures could go for a potential pincer attack. White backing off. So White's in a challenging position where he wants to go ahead and try to take another base, try to slow down Thebus's economy, but he's still got to worry. He's behind in supply, behind in upgrades, and he's got to worry about a potential pincer attack or his natural expansion getting sealed up. Second factory, or so, sorry, second army being dropped behind this. This is three machine shops and a total of seven factories still. White kind of moving this army back and forth across the middle. I think he's a little bit flustered as far as what he can do in the midst of this. Second, uh, seven gateways behind this. Now starting to surround that five o'clock and finally wiping out these siege tanks here. 
doing a pretty good engagement on it. Looks like some more vultures moving in. I think they're going to try to test this natural expansion. No, they're going to go ahead and engage that five. No, planting some mines before they dive in. A science vessel alongside this to go ahead and remove it. And yeah, Thebe is saying, okay, while you're out of position there, I'm just going to go ahead and retake this corner high ground. And white, I think that was a no GG situation there. Thebus showing some commanding instincts. Some next level gameplay, honestly, in this series. He's going to advance. Deservedly so. GG. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.